Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss about mind control. I have read an interesting article written by Sigmund Fraud, entitled, The Five Main Cultural Influences Controlling Your Subconscious Mind. He wrote this article three years ago, but it is very relevant today. Anyway, Sigmund Fraud is a survivor of modern psychiatry and a dedicated mental activist. He is a staff writer for WakingTimes.com, where he indulges in the possibility of a massive shift towards a more psychologically aware future for humankind. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life, and you will call it fate. Flip this quote from Dr. Jung around, and it suggests that once you become aware of the unconscious forces directing you, you will experience freedom and gain newfound control over your own life. This realization gives us extraordinary power. Based on what we know about the brain, mind, and consciousness, most of our decisions are made without conscious thought, that is, we are driven by low-level mental activity which happens automatically. This level of thinking is the product of the subconscious mind. Max Planck Gesellschaft writes, Contrary to what most of us would like to believe, decision-making may be a process handled to a large extent by unconscious mental activity. A team of scientists has unraveled how the brain actually unconsciously prepares our decisions. Many processes in the brain occur automatically and without involvement of our consciousness. This prevents our mind from being overloaded by simple routine tasks. But when it comes to decisions, we tend to assume they are made by our conscious mind. This is questioned by our current findings. In other words, most of the time, we are basically on autopilot. The fact that subliminal advertising can alter the buying habits of consumers is well established, and this is a widely used practice in the advertising industry. It is, perhaps, the most overt form of directly tampering with the subconscious minds of individuals. But there are a great deal of other things all around us which interfere with our subconscious programming on a daily basis. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. In 2017, Forbes magazine estimated that the beauty industry is worth nearly half a trillion dollars a year in the US. The industry is so lucrative because of how body image is used to manipulate people and their sexual identities, especially women. An ideal largely unattainable representation of beauty is projected throughout our culture, causing a major disruption to self-identity. Oversexualization of even the youngest members of society is everywhere. This one is everywhere, from the nightly news, to the vast majority of television shows and movies, and even throughout the music industry. Violence is presented as the solution to any problem, darkly coloring the subconscious mind with images of death, torture, fighting, destruction, war and violence against nature. Michael A. Hoffman in his book entitled, Secret Societies and Psychological Warfare, writes. Have you ever noticed how television and print media will scream themselves hoarse in news documentaries, editorials and heavy analytical pieces about rising pornography, crime, violence, gunplay, etc. And yet in the same TV guide announcing the latest special on the crisis of sex and violence will appear an advertisement for Miami Vice, the show that brings you the action and excitement you've come to expect, etc or your newspaper will condemn sex and violence in the loftiest terms, but there in the entertainment section is a half-page advertisement for a new action movie, accompanied by a photo of women in string bikinis and high heels fondling automatic pistols and machine guns. Mm -hmm. 
classic occult symbolism is ubiquitous in our culture now. Appearing throughout entertainment media, the spiritual symbols of the occult present a constant reminder that dark forces are at play in our world. They trigger the deeply subconscious fear of death, which is thought to be the main driver of all human behavior, as well as submissiveness to base-level forces, such as fear, greed, and lust. Buck Rogers writes, the themes are applied in so many productions that it utterly defies coincidence, which means there must be some greater unifying message or purpose to it all. Based on the type of symbols, and when looked at in the historical context of esoteric religious movement, Egyptian theology, Babylonian mythology, Satan worship and so on, Hollywood and the movie industry is clearly working to serve a particular ideological movement. The worship of dark and satanic forces has historically been linked to human sacrifice, pedophilia, sexual perversion, ego worship, celebrity worship, fragmentation of the individual psyche into controllable parts, mind control, and corruption of the soul. The use of the occult and its symbols is a methodology employed to weaken the power of the individual and to create psychological slaves. It is a serious form of mind control. Stoking extreme cognitive dissonance, the most influential institutions in our world, church and state, are perpetually engaged in behavior that defies their stated objectives, creating an environment where otherwise would-be virtuous people develop a warped sense of reality. The Catholic Church is mired in evil child abuse scandals all the time, but they still put on the air of righteousness. The government is pretty much always engaging in scandal, murder, corruption and every other evil things, while, again, presenting itself as an organization that brings justice and equity to our world. If you believe you are a victim, then you also believe that you have no control over your choices and fate. Church and state love for people to play the role of victim, because they know it leaves a power vacuum in one's life, causing them to look outwardly for direction, while giving up their power. The subconscious mind doesn't speak the same language as the conscious mind. It works on the level of visualization. Many of the influences mentioned earlier, operate as mental images within the minds of many in our culture a form of daydreaming, a trance-like state. Waking up to this awareness is exceptionally liberating. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.